It's episode 200, you Marvel card collecting bastards. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Marvel Card Collectors Podcast, your weekly digest of hobby goodness, celebrating 200 episodes. Can I get a whoop whoop? Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much. Um, uh, so, so this week, so far, we have Keith. And <laughs> Keith, for those on audio, you're missing a treat here because Keith is wearing the most alluring, alluring outfit I think I've seen in a long time. Um, we have Jason. Hello. Uh, we have, so far, we have two other special guests. We have the magnificent Michael Munshaw. Yeah, hello there. The Munch or the Magnificent? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. That is that is your handle. I mean, I'm oh trying to God. rebrand you, Mike, but but uh, it's just I can just picture. you. Have you seen the film The Prestige? No, I have not. You've not seen The Prestige? Never What's even heard of movie? it. I don't even know it's, what it um, is. It's a Christopher Nolan film. Hugh Jackman, uh, Christian Bale, and it's about magicians, turn of the century magicians. David Bowie's in it as as Tesla. Oh, hmm. it's about magicians. So when hmm. I say the Magnificent Munch, oh. go and watch that film. And trust me, you'll thank me for it because it's Christopher Nolan. Aye, I'll put on my to do list. Um, yeah, on your on your many many things. I'm sure you've got to do. Uh, we have uh, we have we have two British people in the room. One of them's a bit shy; he's not showing his face. Uh, we have Carl Varney. Hey, how you doing? I'm all right, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm you've good. got some stuff on the wall since we last spoke. Yeah, I finally found some some time to to yeah put some stuff on the wall. Nice, long, uh... nice. Um, and we've also got, well, if if he's here, we've got Jake McManus, Retroverse. He's there somewhere, possibly. Uh, and we have someone else dialing in oh, as well, as we it. think. So the whole the whole concept of today's episode is it's an open house. People are just going to drop in. Um, so if you're on audio, this could be massively confusing because suddenly you'll hear people speaking that you can't see. Um, so if you're on video, then you'll be able to watch and see all the joyous things that are happening. Um, Sid, what's up? Good morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness me! Everyone's here this morning. Jake, are you there or not? I'm lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me? Well, we can Barely. hear you. Yeah, we can't see you. I know. I don't know why. And that, <laughs> now I've lost the box to find all your wonderful faces. You have to oh, click well. start video. You I've too. got you now. It's there okay. he is. It's okay. There he is. Oh, oh, there, there he is. is. There he is. Oh, we can see the top of his head. Anyway, what you got on? What you got on today? You said you were going to be in your pajamas. I am from the bottom down. If but you can't tell. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, we have we have absolutely no fixed agenda for today, folks. So it's it's any kind of topic, um, any questions you've got, um, anything you want to talk about. Um, but I guess the first thing is that we're we're two hundred episodes in. Um, do you remember your first episode? Anyone want to take that? Do you remember the first episode of this they heard? Oof. Everyone's kind of looking into the sky and I kind do. of thinking. I do. No, <laughs> I do. The Bianchi episode. That's what drew me in. Me and uh, Bianchi. Simone Bianchi, yep. Yeah. Good one. And I just thought, yeah, this is nuts. <laughs> and it was great to the I was new new to Marvel, and it was like... So what I did, I, on purpose, I think I've said this before, I didn't listen to the podcast on purpose because I wanted to do my own research. I told you before, haven't I? Mm. I didn't want to all, know all the juicy bits. I didn't want to be gifted. Yeah. But when I saw the Bianchi, I thought, oh, I've got to listen to this because MM18 was one of the first sets I saw. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I've got to listen to this. And then, yeah, I just started listening after that, really, one after another and another and another. He hooked you. He did. I have to hook someone. Mike, you were on, you were on fairly early on, if I'm I'm correctly. trying to rack my brain because it was, it was towards the very beginning. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys were talking about Marvel Premiere 2018 or somewhere yeah. around there because that's when I first found out about this community mm. and that was my first set. And... I'm, it's it was around that time, but I can't remember the actual episode that you guys, you know, that I was like, oh yeah, this is my first one. Yeah, it, it was way back in the beginning. It was way back because I remember 
before before you were even on the podcast or before you'd done like an intro or anything like that you messaged to say that you listened yeah. while you were drawing and i think that was the first we kind of heard of you you just yeah. randomly yeah. out of the blue you just messaged us on instagram i think uh and i was like wow that's brilliant <laughs> there's someone listening <laughs> so you know it's always it's always a it's always a bonus that is yeah. um I don't know if it was the first one I listened to, but it was certainly very early on because I jumped in during Marvel Masterpieces 2020. So your first interview with Dave Palumbo probably was at least near the beginning of when I started listening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dave, Dave's been on, Dave's been on a fair few times now, actually. Really? Yeah, he's a dude. I think Dave, I think Dave Palumbo's been on like four times now. He, he, wow. <laughs> He dropped me a message last year and said, do you want me to come on? I was like, yeah, okay. We just came on and we just, we just chatted. Um, it was really cool. Um, and we've got Andy Salazar there, but he's, he's on mute at the moment. We can't see his face, but he's waiting in the wings. Uh, so I'm just going to say, hello, Andy. Everyone say hello, Andy. Hello, hello Andy. Hello. Hi, Andy. What there up, we Andy? There we go. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, I'm there he is. No. hanging out. <laughs> He's lurking. He's lurking in the background. Um, um, De depending on where it, or if Andy goes on camera, he has the OCD of collecting. I love the way he stores things and he collects just about everything I wish I could. Oh, wow. Okay. Appreciate it, man. Cool. All right. What do you collect, Andy? Because this is one of those things where there's going to be people who come on. Because anyone could come on, quite frankly. There's going to be people who come on who I've heard of, but I don't know as well as other people. So I've got no idea what, what sort of stuff you go for. Yeah, so um, quite a bit of the retro and then just whatever strikes my fancy uh, on the modern stuff. I can't, I don't dip my toe into everything modern because there's just so much yeah. um, out yeah. there, especially on the new products. Mm -hmm. But I try to pick and choose what I really like and um i set collect so i don't have a character that i go after um but i just go after as complete a sets as i can afford okay yeah that's not well, you've got an extensive video actually. game collection too right yeah yeah i have about 2000 physical games from the original nintendo to uh the modern consoles today nice nice that would be me about three or four years ago i had similar um I've most of them have gone now um, but uh but yeah it was getting it was getting a bit bonkers there because they they take up a fair bit of room don't they they do they do yeah. they, i have a, a whole wall de dedicated to them just the one that's a big wall <laughs> it is a big wall that's a big wall yeah <laughs> um wowzers wowzers I've got a que question oh go ahead yeah do you ever play any of the games andy oh yeah absolutely I bring oh, down a system them? and spend about two weeks on it usually. And then um, back on the shelf it goes and another one comes down. So I'm always jumping between something retro and something modern. So do you play them on like one of today's TVs or an older TV? So you know, I do because have... Because of the pixels and that. Yeah, so I do have a CRT TV um, that yeah. I use yeah. mainly for light gun games. Uh, okay, but makes sense. Yeah, and then on the modern TV, I, I pretty much do use um, an OLED for everything, including the old retro stuff. But I have an upscaler that helps with the image, so it doesn't look so. Um, yeah, so blurred, it's quite so a bit, old. isn't it? We, me and my son, used to collect PS One games, and uh, we found the same. We thought, "Oh, come on, we're going to get the PS One out," and then you put it on a fifteen-inch screen TV, and it's like. Oh yeah, we'll go upstairs in one of the bedrooms on the smaller TV, and it's just a lot nicer. <laughs> yes, totally. Yep, that'll happen if you don't have something in between helping with that. Yeah, and we didn't. That's why I was asking. Yeah, that's great advice. That's all. Yeah, I tell you what, I I've got Jake. I don't know if they released them in America, but um, Sony brought out a PlayStation Two TV, Sony Bravia. Um, oh, they did, and it was they, only yeah. available yeah. via Richard Sounds in the UK. Um, remember, and, it's, yeah. and it's gorgeous. It's right next to me here. Um, and it's got a PS2 in the base. Um, oh, and wow. it's, it's, it's not a big screen. I'd say it's 22, mm -hmm. 24 inch tops. Um, but it's 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 perfect because it's just at that point where you have started having flat screens, but you still have mm -hmm. the old systems. So on the back, it's got HDMI, but it's also got like the uh, component and SCART. So it's perfect for kind of 
um, putting different systems into. Super cool. Those, no, those are got to be pretty yeah. rare. They were. They were in Mitchie Sounds, but Mitchie Sounds, it's just like, I go all the time. I buy all my TV stuff and the cinema around, surround stuff from there. Mm. There might be like 30 in the UK, something like that. Maybe more, Ian, but I think there's they more. weren't even as yeah. big then. Yeah. Well, they're not they're not huge, are they? As in a franchise, they're not like ridiculous. Oh yeah, they're, no, they're not franchised. They're all kind of um. So Richard Sounds, for those who don't know, is a UK um kind of TV hi-fi um store, um and it's yeah. it's it's founded by a guy <laughs> called Julian Richer. Mm. <laughs> That's actually his surname, um and he's still very much kind kind of in it, you know. And they're really they're really they've got listening rooms. We can go and try stuff out. And now it's kind of all TV, so you know viewing rooms as well. It's pretty cool. I guess pretty that'd cool. be like the Wiz over here back in the day. Okay, Crazy Eddie. His prices are insane. Crazy Eddie. <laughs> crazy Eddie. He's Crazy Eddie. Uh, and is he coming on this podcast? <laughs> Only old people understand that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Old people in America. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jason, when did you? Because obviously, obviously, you're, you're part of the team now. Um, right. technically speaking so is mike because can i just to get a little round of applause for mike for the wonderful podcast graphics he's done for this kind of version two of the mcc pod because legend I, I, i'm eternally grateful to you mike for that help so oh no you. problem it was fun it was fun uh, to work on so uh, uh J- there's another jason coming on so i'm going to speak to the existing jason mark and i jason when did you first like, what was your first episode that you remember hearing uh, so probably the episode I was on, um, 55, 54, something Somewhere like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. don't say that, Jason. Come on. You've got to at least tell a few lies. And, say no, uh, I was a huge fan. <laughs> yeah, no. And uh, that actually, I haven't listened to an episode since. Um, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I think it was uh, probably that. And then I went back in time and, and uh, listened to some, some more and, uh, kept kept up with it until um you know i'm here now so in other words if jason isn't on jason doesn't listen that's pretty much ex- that's ex- I mean, oh, it's, all, it's all it's all <laughs> it's all about me yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just like Legend. you jake i know that's what i'm thinking <laughs> it's not only me <laughs> oh dear me carl as a fellow Englishman, there's three Englishmen on this call. This is like a third English. It's probably the, the most English we've had on this podcast for, well, since the last time you were on. Um, <laughs> my family's English. Oh, well, oh yeah, my, that's my right. Grandmother, my grandmother, my grandmother was born in England. So yeah, okay, all right. My great, my great grandfather was German. I don't know why I said that. It just randomly <laughs> popped into my head. I never met him, obviously. Um, Carl, you the first time I I encountered Carl, he bought some cards off me. I did. Uh Masterpieces 94 gold holofoils or bronze? I think they were the bronze holofoils, actually. Bronze, weren't they? It's when I was having the purge. I was yeah, you just, my parallels. You decided that um you weren't going to go for the for the set. Well, no, I, I had the set. It was I decided I wasn't going to keep all the parallels because I had too many cards. So I just thought I only need one. I only need one version of the card of, of the card with this art on. I don't need like three of them. And good, good grief! Can you imagine now, uh, Andy? If you're a set collector, we, have you seen the Marvel Platinum checklist? Yes, and I'm staying far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did an episode. You'll by the time. By the time this airs, you'll have heard it. But weirdly, as we record, we only recorded it last night. We did an episode last night with. Um, uh, Grant and TJ from Upper Deck talking all about Marvel Platinum. Um, and uh, yeah, Grant Grant kind of, you know, we were a little bit sceptical about the size of the checklist, but Grant, in his inimitable fashion, talked us talked us round. And so, yeah, we kind yeah, of personally, kinda I'm I'm pretty excited from. about it. I mm-hmm. think that it's going to be a blast to open because yeah. every pack's going to have just tons of different parallels in it. And that's the thing. That's the and, thing. It's just going to be really fun to open and. If you're a character collector and you know it's it's the first time we've had this many parallels, obviously, but it might be a fun chase. Like like when you complete that, you're gonna feel really good about it. You know, maybe not yeah. more than once, but otherwise, like it's gonna be a pretty cool accomplishment. 
Um, so I, I I'm pretty excited about it and original art anything original art i'm yeah. excited about it anyway so yeah no it's, mm-hmm. it's gonna be cool and we saw we saw an awful lot of art uh, last night and you know, grant had some of the cards in hand as well so he yeah, was sharing, us, sharing us stuff so. you know one of my takeaways i don't know how much we can but he it's a big set on purpose it's something that he wants us to take our time with basically you know Fleer retro is something people got in and out of this is something that is going to be a little bit of a process for everyone to get everything if they want everything. And hopefully it's fun getting there too. Back to collecting and trading. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be a hoot. It's going to be a hoot. We've got another, we've got another Jason jumped on. Too. Oh yeah, there's going to be blasters. Yeah. The other Jason, uh, J- other Jason, I can't even attempt your surname, I'm afraid. Uh, Nagi, maybe? Nagi? Don't know. I think he's shy. Other Jason isn't talking to us just yet. He's lurking. He's lurking. That's fine, Jason. You just you just stay there. We'll be here when you're ready. We'll be here when you're ready. <laughs> oh, um, therapy session, Ian. Come on. What's that? It isn't a therapy session. We're going to be here when you're well, ready. Well, you know, it, it, it might turn into one. I think there's That's time what yet. I'm wondering. I think yeah, there's time is it yet. coming to that? Yeah, it it's is coming to that. Ian, Ian, talking about the podcast, yeah. one, for you, one for you, obviously... Mm-hmm. I got into um, collecting around um, Masterpieces 20. Yeah. So I, I can't, I tried, I looked on my phone to see if I could find the first podcast and I can't find it. But I've gone back and listened to quite a lot of the podcasts that you did, specifically the ones with the artists. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so obviously I missed a lot of the sets that you, you talked about that I haven't collected. Um that were sort of before masterpieces, but what what are the what are the podcasts that stand out for you personally? Uh, without question, Greg Hildebrand, um, simply because he did this incredible James Mason impression about <laughs> ten minutes into the podcast, and he he yeah. did a whole whole speech from I can't remember which movie it was now. Uh, the reason I say that is it, it you'll only have seen you'll only have heard that. But we saw it, and I've still got the video actually, um, and 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 I have got the blessing from from Greg and Gene to release the video onto the YouTube because the videos all exist of those earlier episodes before they were. Oh, okay. Um, because uh, my goodness me, he he didn't just do James Mason; he channeled the spirit of James Mason, and he was coming towards the camera as he was doing it. And it's like properly, like, you know, yeah, it was just hilarious. But just, yeah, probably that one for that moment um, amongst the fact, but, you know, obviously it's Greg Hildebrand, so it's it's pretty bonkers. Um, and I think probably the first episode that Michael Munshaw was on. Oh, dear. <laughs> definitely stands out for me. That is, no. All right. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh no, he's lying. He's I'm lying. not lying. I'm not lying. He's lying like a rug. I'm not lying <laughs> like a rug. Wonderful expression that is. Um, uh, Mike, what are you working on at the moment? I mean, are you actually drawing as we as we as we speak. No, Carl art? just gave me an idea, and now ah. I'm on my phone scrolling. Oh, okay. To see my list of 200 podcasts. Oh wow. And okay. which ones I actually listen to. Ah. To try to figure out what my first one was, so ah. this is all Carl's fault. Oh, well, but, yeah. um, You're doing I can't research. tell you what I'm working on. Come on, oh, okay. it's still terrible. Uh, <laughs> I can so, tell you, I'm so not that... working on tops anymore. How about that? That oh, we're done. Yeah. So, oh wow. It's not a tops thing. So yeah. But the so first top... episode I listened to here, it says, was Marvel masterpieces 1992 and 2016. And it doesn't have an episode number. Is that oh, the third early. one? Yeah, that's an early. That's number three, I think. In which we talk about Marvel masterpieces, nineteen ninety two, twenty. Sounds right. Sounds right Joe to me. Desco. Yeah, sounds right. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of scrolling. I mean, good grief. Yeah, I mean, so. I but I thank you, it. Carl, for making me go down that rabbit hole and look all that. Up. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been scrolling on that for about. But 10 thank minutes. you, Apple iPod or iTunes for having that history. But anyway, yeah. so yes. Episode three, 25th of June, 2019. Yep. Wow. Um, nice one. That's been played 522 times. Um, 
That's, so, yeah. that's 521 by Michael, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that would be the episode Michael was on, probably. Um, <laughs> but um, the uh, Jul- Julian Boris episode's certainly one of my favorites, for sure. Oh, the Julian Boris one. The Julian Boris one. It's like, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I, I, I tell you one of the, one of the interesting things we we didn't do. We didn't do it, interviews for. Oh, other Jason is gone. Other Jason, we scared, we scared him off. Mm-hmm. Other Jason, I I love you dearly. Come back when you're ready. Um, there can only be one. They... <laughs> Jason, did I give you control of the mute button? Have you constantly kept him on mute? And no, so he no, got no. fed up with I don't, trying to I don't know himself. that. I don't know that much about Zoom. You don't have that power. Okay. Um, the um, uh, interesting po- podcast tidbit then. So the first interview that uh, when I'm going to say we here, I'm going to talk about Norin or Fausto, as I think he's, everyone knows him. See, when, when Norin and I started this, he 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 didn't have his like his own name out there because he didn't want you know he wanted that pseudonym he wanted that separation but now of course you know it's like he's Fausto or he's Sketch or he's no you know whatever people call him all sorts but um, we the first interview that we did was Dave DeVries and Dave completely like carried us I'd say on that one because you know we'd not done it before and Dave was absolutely cool in the gang um, but then. We did one with a with a sketch card artist a few months later, and it was it was so bad we never released it. Um, mainly because um, not because the not no disrespect to this artist, and I'm not going to say this artist's name, but no disrespect to that artist, but the 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 signal was so bad that it was just like painful trying to trying to have any kind of conversation because it just kept dropping out. Um, so in the in the end, we we we. We we canned it. We were like, there's nothing, there's nothing salvageable to release. So that put us off, like having anyone else on the podcast for like a good six to nine months. We just were just like, no, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> so by the time we got to Boris and Julia, I think we'd had maybe two or three other collectors on, and then we had Peter Scanlon, and then it was Boris and Julie. So we were kind of still a bit like, still a bit green at that point, I'd say. Um, plus it's Boris and Julie, so you're a little bit like, ah. Um, but um, but no, that was a good time. That was a good time. They're lovely, lovely people. Um, I don't know if have you ever met them at any cons. Has anyone met Boris? I have. Yeah, every every year I go to uh, Elixcon in Reading, PA, um, and they're there. Every, they've been there every year since it started, like 16, wow. 17 years, something like that. And and uh, Dave Palumbo is always there. Um, um, Greg Hildebrandt is there. You know, once every three years or so, mm-hmm. on average, uh, Jeff Easley's there, Bob Eggleton's there. So lots and lots and lots of Marvel uh, wow. card artists. Oh, what um, time of year is that? Uh, it's every October. Um, it's within my striking range. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I I, I volunteer there um, and I drive in every day. That's how close I am. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's the it's the best show because it's not like um you know you go to a comic show and like the artist is behind the table and you're getting a big line. To, it's not like that. You just go and talk to the artist for an hour if you want at the show. It's not it's not like a they're not selling anything. I mean maybe their original art, maybe maybe a book or some some prints, but in general they're there just to show their art and have a good time with their art friends. <laughs> so nice. It's a it's a, an amazing show. That does sound pretty cool. Sold. I like I like the way you say within striking distance. I mean, I'm you're sold. on the continental U- United States of America, so yeah. I guess most of those shows are within easier striking distance. Than I can pull it off in a day, though. Podcast. Well, you, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't cool. know, Ian. You're closer to that show than people in California, so yeah, uh, <laughs> pretty no, close. It's no, about the no, same. No. It's, a, it's, a, it's a seven and a half, eight, eight hour flight for me to get to that one. I don't think it's that far because you're because you're going it? west. Well, yeah. I, I mean, if you, were, <laughs> if you were, if you guys were going to recommend um, cons for for us to come over to, which would there be like a group of like three or four in a row that you could hit? Road trip. Yeah. That, uh, <laughs> uh, he, Heroes Con in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, it's been a while since I've been, but that one is um, totally 
artist focus. Um, it's run by a local store in Charlotte, a small, small comic store store called Heroes Aren't Hard to Find. Um, they've been doing it for a little over 40 years uh, in the convention center. And there's always big names in the comic book industry and a lot of, you know, they have a big artist alley with, with, you know, just, it's just loaded with art um, and comic writers. And so it's, it's, fo it's basically focused on the art. There's not really any celebrities or anything like that. And it's a, what pretty, kind of it's year a decent that? size show. It's in June, kind of middle, middle of June. Yeah. So you have um, o OAX in January. Uh <laughs> which obviously I, I didn't go to that this year, but it was, you know, it looked like a really great show for people who enjoy art. Um, and then, yeah, you have Heroes Con in June then, and then you have uh, IX in October. So they're all kind of spread out as far as the, like, I think those are probably yeah. the three biggest, like, well, New York is right behind. Isn't I was going to say, if you yeah. were going to group it, group it in the you fall. You do New York and IX. And you got IX, you have Baltimore Comic Con, you have New York Comic Con yeah. right on top of each other. That yeah. if you Bal wanted to Baltimore's hit a bunch a, in Baltimore's that a October one. area, that that would be the time to do it then. Okay. But I think what Sydney's saying is that that's a more intimate setting, the IX versus the New York Comic Con and the Baltimore. Those are big shows. Yeah. yeah. Right. New York's a media show, not a comic show anymore. But yeah. <laughs> that's not, that's fine if you're into that and like that. I mean, that's, well, I say it's New a great York show to go because to. Because if you're a card collector, you know, Tops does show up. Um, there is some card stuff. Yeah, Upper Deck was there last year, I think, too. I've got to pick on the background, Sid. I'm going to make you big on the screen. Please don't yep. get, please don't feel um, victimized in any way. Is that Ariel Olivetti, Ghost Rider, exquisite Ghost Rider. original art it, behind you? Yes, it, it is. It is, though it's technically a repaint. He did them all digitally and then repainted them all. But I mean, right. when you look at that thing up close and look at it next to the card, you cannot see a difference. Yeah, between yeah, the two yeah. Of them. yeah. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, does it? I've said this before. What no. it do it takes zero away from the art. It makes no. Mm. It yeah, it's not as good of a historical story. So maybe you could argue, it wouldn't be as much in dollars, but the art yeah, is what the all. art is, yeah. and it yeah. makes no difference. It's a ridiculous. Does it? It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, of course. Yeah. Just for those who don't know what we're talking about, so Ariel Olivetti for Marvel Gems in twenty. 15 15 there we go um he did the exquisite set so it's the first time the exquisite brand had been in a marvel set um and it was original art and they're, they're gorgeous cards um and he did the original art for them now he did he did the original art in um black and white so the pencils yeah actually and i think he just drew i think these are the pencils and he did the painting over the pen the yeah well pencil, that's so. that's the thing so yeah so at the time he did them in pencils and then he um scanned them in and then he finished them digitally so the colored versions that are on the cards are um physical pencils and then digital coloring um what he did when he sold them last year yeah it was last year um 2023 he you had the option of whether you could buy the pencils as they were or you could pay more and he would actually physically color it. So um so I I I got black hat and I just got the pencils as were. Um but I didn't choose to get mine mine colored. Um and I I kind of prefer it like that. But it sounds to me like you 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 got the you got him to paint it. Yeah, I actually got this from someone else they had had it done but oh, no, uh, it's yeah. still, still pretty good. Now, yeah. f fun fact, uh, he only did this once. But he um, he did do a second painted copy of each, if if those people want it, because he he'd he'd had the pencils scanned in, um, so he, there are um, there are he, he did a second copy. I don't know if he did it for every character, but he did do a second copy that wasn't with the original pencils. It was a, a printed out um, copy of the original pencils, and he paint he painted over that as well. Um, but after that, I don't think he's, he's doing any more um, because obviously he could, he could keep going doing that. And who knows which is the original? And which it would never the, end. Yeah, it would never end. No. So, um, but no, they're gorgeous pieces, and it was they were really. Um, uh, I hesitate to say the word fair, 
but they were very fairly priced. Absolutely. The reason I hesitate to say it is because I'm sure someone will throw a rock at me. It's like, it's like it's fair. no, I mean, they're better than most convention sketches, yeah. like from big artists, yeah, and gorgeous. they co- it costs the same as, as yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know? they're really nice. They're really nice. Um, Mike, you do quite a lot of shows, kind of fairly local to you, yeah, don't you? Yeah, I, I have. This year, I'm cutting way back. Um, wow. So, a lot of, how do I do this diplomatically? A lot of the shows that I was going to I don't have think they're listening. I don't think they're listening. So you're okay. Yeah, they spit probably it, don't. Anyway. They've <laughs> moved away from. Spill it. They've moved Come away on. from comic art and comic artists and comics. You know, like they call it a comic con, but I bet you there's only two or three vendors that actually yeah. bring the long boxes right. and put them out and stuff. It's much more. Uh, anime and video game and cosplay and driven culture. and you know when i sat down after last season and looked at the books and just looked at the different shows and stuff and at the same time covid really got people to buy online a lot easier and i can almost do better staying home on a weekend drawing something and putting it up online for sale mm-hmm. than going to a convention with all the costs that are associated with the conventions and stuff. So lugging everything out there. Yeah. yeah. So this year I'm definitely cutting back. I think I'm only doing maybe four shows this year oh, where okay. previous years, it's probably been eight, 10, something like that. But yeah. <clears throat> it's just, you know, things have changed, you know, and as a con organizer, you do what you want to do to sell tickets. And if anime video games, cosplay, if that's selling tickets and getting people in the door, well, then good for you. You know, yep. those type of people just don't care about the work that I do or the things that I draw. So that's just, you know, that's just the fact of life. So, you know, I can do better marketing online and finding people that way that, you know, enjoy my work or want to buy it that way. So mm. it's, it'll just be a couple of big shows this year and that'll be it for me. Mm. So I, I was going to say, I, I was opening up Instagram almost every it, it felt like almost every week I was seeing you with your banner. It wasn't that yeah. bad, but. Well, no, but. <laughs> it, it, I bet but you, though. Know, it, it got last to a point where I was like, I was like he's month. out and about a lot. That's what. Yeah, I bet like. you at least once a month I was doing a show yeah. or I was somewhere along the East Coast here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't you have a car? Was there a car incident on one of the shows recently? There was a car incident, uh, Ocean City Comic Con. My wife bought a brand new RAV4, first new car she had bought in ages. I think we had it a whole two weeks or so. Oh. And then we were about a mile and a half from the hotel when a deer decided it needed to be standing in the middle of the road. So that was great. That was fun. So and I was shocked. You know, the car was, we could, it was done. Um, but the, the state was trooper was like, well, where are you going? And I was like, well, yeah. we got to go to a hotel. We're only a mile and a half away from here and stuff like that. And he's like, oh, I'll give you a ride over there if you don't want to get an Uber. And I was like, really? And he goes, yeah, I'll give you a ride. And I said, but I got, there's some stuff that in the car I need to get over to the hotel. And he's like, oh no, I'll help you. I'll help you. And we pop open the back of the RAV4 and he's like, oh, you got a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. And I was like, I told you, I was like, we're headed to Comic-Con. So we only took about half of it. I felt guilty as we were trying to move all of his stuff around and put the con stuff. But he couldn't have been nicer getting us over to the hotel and getting at least half my con stuff over there. You see, you wouldn't have stories like that, Mike. You're right. You are 100% correct about that. But I also had a wife in tears in Mm -hmm. the park at a Wawa looking at her destroyed brand new car and... Yeah, no, I no one's spe- no one spares a thought for the deer in all of this. Did yeah. you did you um did you stick it in the freezer? Did you live on venison for a few months? No, the the deer the heat was long. He was after he bounced off of our car. I believe he had the joy of being bounced by other cars. I think he was like a little oh, okay. pinball going down the road. Oof. Okay, yeah, it was not pretty. Not no, pretty. No. Oh well, I'm sure. Listen, I'm sure that deer could have quite happily fed a family of four in Mozambique for a good month. Um, Andy, do you go to to many shows? No, not as many as I'd like. Um, I've been to way more video game conventions than I have been to card and comic conventions. Just little local shows here in Houston, Texas. Um, I've been to, but nothing that I've had to travel for. Oh, okay. I was going to ask where you were. So no, yeah, it is early there with you. I I just suddenly occurred to me. It's probably still dark, which is why we can't see you. (laughs) 
<laughs> I'll uh, I'll switch over from my phone to the. No, computer. you don't have to. You don't have to. I'm only pulling the link. Um, but um, but yeah, no. So uh, Houston. So we got we got someone like kind of halfway across America. This is pretty good. No one from the West Coast yet. I think it's probably still a bit early for them. Yeah, I've I've yeah. been reliably informed we're expecting at least one West Coast guest at some point during the next hour or so. So who knows? Um, so Sydney. What's yeah. that X Men number one graded at? Two zero. Oh wow, that's cool. And I have the giant size X Men is a nine zero. Oh, what Bringer. is it? So who? Is that Hulk one eight one as well? Uh, Hulk one eight one to nine four nine four. You yeah. want to see him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Let's have a look. If I can, let's see. Oh look at that! It's in a cabinet as well. Oh yeah. Today's episode is going to be called Comics with Sid. <laughs> I'm happy with Comics with Sid. All right, there's... Oh, that's nice. So cool, nice. Such a nice cover. So cool. It is. Beautiful yeah. book. Oh. oh, you've got those bumpers on. I got the bumpers. Although it doesn't really work on this book, I had to like cut the back of it off because they don't well, fit the, the thick one. Yeah, the it's thick a thick book. one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But I still got it to look. And then this I got. I actually got this raw as a nine four, oh, and it graded wow. a nine four. Mm -hmm. um, and I never had it pressed or cleaned or anything like that, so it could potentially even be better than that. Very nice. Wow. Very That's nice. Great. That's this a is, great grade for that. Program. Yeah. This is one I'm not ever. I mean, this I'm a Hulk guy. I mean, Wolverine guy. So I'm. This is yeah. ever going away. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's amazing. Wow. That's some nice stuff there. Um, Jason, you you you're into your comics aren't you quite a lot you've you've been getting quite a lot of sketch covers and things like that going on uh yes um i i did i kind of took a break on that but yeah i i got a bunch of sketch covers back um i was probably between 2015 and 2018 i was going to a con a month or every other month and was really into the sketch covers um i do have a in front of me i will show off some mike munshaw uh, oh wow! Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> hang on. Keep it up there. Let me put this big on the screen. There we go. Oh, that's very cool. nice. On very nice. Ah, uh, yeah. Marvel uh, uh, collectors cardstock. But... I love yeah. that. I love black and white. No, it's not. Yeah, I do. I do too. But yeah, really, I love this. Uh, I dabble every now and then in Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Um, I think that's the one and only time I've ever drawn that character. So look at that. Wow. That's a true yeah. one of one. It's oh, a one there of you one. go. Yeah. <laughs> a true one of one, that is. Doesn't get any more one of um, one than that. <laughs> oh, Justine's 15 Pro Max is connecting to audio. Who's this going to be? Who are we going to have today? You know, I feel, I, feel, I feel the need to do a giveaway in a moment for the assembled masses now that we've reached. Hey! hey Justin. <laughs> oh, what and Andy's up, face as well. Look at this. Hey, Justin, how are you? I am well. I'm out having breakfast. Oh, what time awesome. is it where you are? It is 8.43 a.m. 8.40. Oh, well done. Well done for being up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got my coffee with me. And, Good. You know, we're Louisiana, so you got to have hot sauce with you at all times. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're not at home. Are you at home or you're out? I'm out. I'm at a, I'm at a cafe. Oh, okay. Doing a little work. Oh, okay. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Oh well, the the party started. So we got we got six people on this podcast now. So I feel the need. Oh, that is awesome. I feel the need to do a little giveaway. So I'm going to ask you, folks. Uh, this is Mike, Carl, Sid, Justin, Andy, Retroverse, Jake. So there's six of you. Okay. I want each of you to pick a number between one one to six. Now, hang on. Out, no, I'm at the top. No, hang on a minute. I've, I'm, I'm doing. I, I've given what happens this when no we all thought. pick the same number? I've given this no, no thought. No. You're just going right. to go down the list and give a number and can you, can't tell, pick the same number. Can you tell? You know what? It, uh oh, screw, it, screw now that. Now there's seven. I, ignore what I just said. I'm very quickly going to put them into the wheelofnames.com. So, so we got Justin. We got Jake. We have Mike. This is going to be funny, Mike. If you win something that you drew. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> yeah, that would, <laughs> that would be absolutely You can just hilarious. send that to Jake up the road. And Jake yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, we have I'll Carl take care of it. and we have Andy. Right. Has anyone else popped onto the Zoom in the meantime? While I've done... Oh, no. We've got someone else yeah, who's popped I said, you got seven no, 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 now, now you're giving something away. Everyone no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming. Typical. They smell blood in the water, and there they are. Um, <laughs> um, I... I I think I think I think his first name is Pete, if I remember correctly. Yep, that's it. That's it. There we go. TC Wallets and more. TC Wallets and more. Right, hang on a minute. Wheel of names. Here we go. So we've got seven people here. So uh, I'm going to share my screen. This is all going so well, Justin. You can tell I never do this stuff. I know you do it every five minutes. But, uh, it's right, always fun share. live. Yeah, I can't yeah. stop looking at Keith's glasses. I'm sure that's already been a topic of conversation. Oh, Keith's glasses <laughs> are absolutely amazing. Right. So, weird of names. Weird of names. It's brilliant. Where's I've my name? Before in life. <laughs> you missed me. Sid, hang on a minute. You won the shot there. Hang on a minute. No, Let's have not. a look. Right, Justin, my Andy said. No, oh, Andy's on there twice. Oh, hell, well spotted. Wow. Andy, Andy, come on. Go. Right. That's... We're going to give it a click. Here we go. Hey. Ian, you're not doing it right until you cancel a stream at the moment of your biggest giveaway, which is what I did one time. Uh, oh, <laughs> right, right. Uh, everyone's going to think everyone's going to think this is a fix, but no, it's not. It's yes. Jake because simply because it'll, it'll, sure. it'll, save, it'll save me. Congratulations, shipping. Sir. So, so Jake. Yes, sir. Jake, I would like you Too to bad. pick a number between one and six. I have six items here. Three. 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 So you are going to win. Come on. When it opens. Drum roll, please, someone. Okay. My, 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 my shit ass computer. Oh, bloody hell. Hurry up. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I like that. Oh, so it's going to be Christmas by the time we figure out. <laughs> oh, wow. You've won. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. That's, that's, Look at that. that's, 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 that's a bit special. So that's a oh, dual that's um, sketch puzzle. Uh, by, I think. I think that's Jessica Hickman from Masterpieces 2008, um, yeah, and that's that's Black Cat. That's um, amazing. That Thank was you. that was gifted to me by a very good friend um, a couple of years ago, and um, I decided to pass it on because I'm I'm less of a, a sketch puzzle uh, collector um, than others, so it, I thought that would go to a good cause. So well done, Jake. Is that because of, is that because of your? It doesn't go in the binder well. Is that why? But yeah, I've just never. I it's it's partly that, but it's also partly because I've um, I'm very much not someone who. Let me rephrase this. I think for me, the medium is a single piece. I'm I think once okay. I think once you yeah. put multiple pieces in in play, it's mm -hmm. it it feels like you're kind of not cheating the concept, maybe breaking the fourth wall. Maybe that's the best metaphor to use. <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't feel um, like it's a, a, you know, a sketch card is uh, so for me is a single piece. So sketch puzzles, yeah. I just can't. I just, I've just you, never what, got on. How them. do you feel? How do you feel about booklets? That's what I was just going to ask. Well, they're joined together. Yeah, yeah. So you're okay together. with that. Yeah, I am okay. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, for, for more, the, more for okay the storage reason, um, they're <laughs> less ideal. But, um, but yeah. So there you go, Jake. I'm just going to delete number three from my um, from my folder. Does that, so does that even cheer one. Jake up, or is he still kind of you know sour? Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. He's stunned. <laughs> oh, there it is. He's Please got a smile. Stunned and special. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, mean, I, I finally got a reason um, to post you all the stuff I've got here for you. <laughs> yeah, it should be a big box too. <laughs> yeah, well, I've got that Fleer Ultra X Men binder sat it right here. Shit, yeah. Um, yeah, where is about it? that. In fact, oh, no, I didn't. Forget... It's just been sat here. So this, don't... this is this is on its way to you, Jake. Don't don't forget the blade, the Blade Runner comic. The Blade Runner comic. That set aside. I've don't got some X twenty threes that you probably forgot you even had. And in here, probably as, as well. You've got Fleer Ultra X Men uh, ninety five. You've got most of ninety four in there. So yeah, that is nice, a binder packed with X Men goodness. Um, Good gentleman. Which you didn't win on this podcast. Um, it was something I was supposed to send you last year. Um, that's how. Oh shit! Thinking of last year. Oh come on. I, I've Kyle, no idea sorry. What I was getting. What's this? <laughs> Kyle's flare <laughs> Ultra Avenger cards. I keep forgetting to send. <laughs> Who's oh, that, Kyle? 
Yeah, they're, oh. mine, they're mine. It's oh, when, we got the, <laughs> when we got all the blasters sent over from PJ. Oh, and, okay. um, and yeah, that was that was really where my post was going on Facebook the other day about blasters to see whether or not it was going to be something they continued with because that was, um, that was quite yeah. a good way of us getting yeah. hold of stuff to rip. Yeah, there's, there's going to be platinum ones. Okay. Oh, those will be nice. Platinum's going to have, and they're going to be, uh, I think you said five cards a pack, four packs of blaster. And everything's got a blue. Yeah. And they're going to put those in retail? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Hey, and Ian, you know, looking at the odds in the checklist, you know, it specifically says like orange out of 33 is hobby. Does that mean the other number cards can be in blasters? Yeah. Yeah, That's interesting. yeah, yeah. I think he said it was it was a lot more um, fair game um, across the two skews. Wow. Um, Jason's hey, happy because Jason's oh, got a Barnes and Noble in his building, pretty much, and he can go down there in his pajamas and get them. Yes, so. I just wander well, down the road. Yeah. Hey, gentlemen, I'm going to run. Uh, keep the great episodes coming. Thanks for popping uh, in, awesome to be able to jump in. And, uh, really appreciate, really appreciate you. Thank appreciate you, sir. You all. No yeah, worries. Have a blessed Thank you. Enjoy your coffee, Thank you. Justin. Bye bye. Thanks, Thanks Justin. Thanks. Speaking, speaking of things that that uh that I owe people from last year, I still have uh, a stack of Ed Webb business cards to send to Donnie to send to Ian. Oh, I got the promos <laughs> though. No, no, hang on. I think you no, did send I got, them. I got more. Oh, <laughs> I, I can't wait. So, for those who don't know, so Ed Webb is Sci-Fi Cards. Yeah, one of the best independent dealers. I think he's one of the only dependent dealers that still. Well, I mean, there are others that do non-sports, but, um, and he, um, for years, he's had artists do drawings of the head alien, which is Ed, basically. Um, and he does promo cards. So he's up to 50, 60 now, at least, if not more. I'm looking at you, Sid. I don't know if you remember what numbers they are. I have no idea. I have a feeling (laughs) I saw P67. And he usually brings out a few each year. And they're available at the main shows. So he always does the Philly non-sport card show. That's where I go. Um, Although that's a schlep for him because he's on the other side of the country. And he literally drives across country. I have a feeling he said he was going to stop doing them. Um, Yeah, last the last one, which I was at, he did Uh, say that was his last one. uh, And they are gorgeous. Gorgeous that's promo. I, that's where I met Michael at the, oh, the well, non-Philly sports card show. Has anyone here <laughs> not met Michael? <laughs> yeah. Me. Nope. Um, everyone has. I have you. <laughs> I have not. Um, Pete, how you doing? I'm good. Just getting ready for the day. You know, figured I'd finally stop on and trying to get some work done before I have to go to work. So work, work on your work on your wallet. Yeah, I work on some new wallet stuff that I'm trying to get done for new shows coming out. I got about eight this year, so wow. We'll okay. see how that goes. That's more than Munchal. Munchal's just told <laughs> us he's knocking it down to four. <laughs> My goal is to go up. I had four last year, so I'm hoping to go eight this year. So oh, there you go. You can take Michael's table. He won't be using. Yeah, it, so. yeah. He, he might, might make a lot more money than me, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> just um, just watch out for Diaz. Oh yeah, yeah. You will catch that on the well, replay. Um, you'll have to go back and watch that. <laughs> you'll have to go back and watch. <laughs> Definitely, and always that. do, guys. I love yeah, this yeah, show yeah. so much. Oh, bless you. Thank you for coming on, mate. I really appreciate it. Um, I was going to ask a very, very important question there. That's what I was going to ask. So, Mike, I've alluded to this, but I haven't. I I haven't directly emailed you about it yet, simply because um, I'm I, I keep forgetting and I'm just crap. Michael, would you be happy to design some Marvel Car Collectors podcast sketch stock? Yeah, I thought we already talked about that. I don't think we talked about it properly. Uh-huh. I think we just kind of informal, uh, but yeah, I thought we that was already no, social media. No, I just thought no. The reason I bring it, it up film now was to make was sure. Just, yeah, the reason. Well, yeah, basically, I've got it on <laughs> film that he's he's agreed to do it. Um, <laughs> but it kind of it kind of occurs to me that it's about time we got some out there because that MCCW stock that Jalen Warner, who, uh, God bless him, where is he today? Um, I tried. He's not answering. Gordon Wills gave some lame excuse that he's got to take his kid to a track <laughs> meet. And Dre's <laughs> some lame excuse. I've been trying to get them to show up. Dre yeah, said but... he might, but 
Gordon said family comes first for some reason. Yeah, that's uh, no, that's that. That old Ooh. chestnut. No, no, it's a load of shit. But yeah, I don't know where um, Jay is. He's probably <laughs> sleeping. He probably stayed up all night painting. Yeah, he probably is. He bench. probably is. Um, he um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, he did the first round of MCCW yep. stock. Um, and um, but that's that's there's going to be no more of that because obviously. Yeah, I still have a few of changed. those blanks sitting around here ah. too. So. But yeah, no, we definitely need to do. A yeah, we'll get some. So the idea is that uh, we'll get some done, and they will go to any artist for free who has worked on a Marvel set, and that artist can then draw on them and charge whatever they want. So it's kind of the yeah, the idea is it's kind of our way of giving back a little bit, and you know, hopefully you can make a few quid on them. And I, I know. Um, Who's been doing a lot on them recently? Jason Montoya's been doing a load. Rio Owens did some. Mike, you obviously did some. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen... Dre always does, Dre always does some, doesn't Dre's he? Done always some. Yeah, Dre's yeah. been using up some yeah. of his. Um, yeah. Didn't we even oh, see look who it is. A, a Ron Lim surfer on MentalCon? Didn't Dre sell a surfer? Uh, yeah, possibly, on yeah. Stock? Yeah. So it was Ron on Lim, your stock as well. There was so, yeah, there was someone in the group who left the group... Um, for, for reasons who I need to reach out for actually just to see if I can kind of bring him back into the fold. Uh, he knows Ron Lim. So he took a load and he, okay. he, he kind of said, okay, I can, uh, I can ask Ron to do some. Um, mm -hmm. And basically we, we, we had a whole chat group going, I think about 30, 40 collectors ended up doing it. Okay. Um, and yeah, and then at one of the New York comic cons, I uh, ran into Peter Scanlon and I gave ah. him five or six oh. Ooh, and I said, oh, nice. draw on these. These will be gold. And he was just like, eh, will people want them? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I haven't seen him do anything, but he's got a couple of blanks in his oh, hands. Well, that's nice. That's nice. How you doing, Wesley? I made it. Sorry. Made it. Hey. Uh, sorry, guys. Did, did, did I read? Uh, you've sent messages, but I haven't read them. If you, did you get called into work? Yeah, so the guy that was covering me today this morning uh, got sick, so I had to hurry up and get ready and come in. Oh, okay. All right. Does he want to come on? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's sick. He doesn't want to come on. He's sick. Yeah, well, I well, He's not that. doing anything now. He's home doing nothing. Yeah, he's chilling. <laughs> I'm going to make him pay. I'm going to give him a lot of extra work, so. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. This is quite bizarre. Because yesterday, we recorded yesterday, and for half of the podcast, Keith was driving. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever had anyone on the podcast who was driving. Um, I once. You must have. You must no. have. No, no, no. Well, they're really? driving. I've I've seen people be on Zooms before that are driving, but it's not. It wasn't a podcast recording. Wasn't it was Nate like, driving on one of them, and Nate was coming in and out. Or was I that thought a more? So yeah. No, no I, not one I, of, I not thought one that of the... was Ian's. Yeah, no. Was yeah, I think that was Ian's. I think Nate was driving during one of yours. I thought it was. No, I, yeah. I think the last time he was on, it was before he'd started doing the truck thing. No, but I think he was just like... Oh, he was just driving, I think. Was he yeah. driving? He was just yeah, looking for yeah. people yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just driving around the countryside. Yeah, I'm sure he was. Oh, I've been to sleep since then. I can't remember. There was uh, one where he was driving. Was that Mental Con? Maybe. No, not Mental no. Con. No, I don't think. No, he was on a podcast. Yeah. Pass. I don't know. I'm sure it was your podcast. He was probably looking for unsuspecting victims. Probably. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Just looking for that one person <laughs> walking by like themselves on the side killer. of the road. <laughs> <laughs> There's always um, one. I want. So, hey, I want... Yes. Would you consider doing uh, a, a, more of an artist question as well? Oversized um, blank sketch cards, or would you just keep it to the standard? I'll size? probably keep it to the standard. To be fair, um, I think I think there's I think there's something a bit special about the two and a half by three and a half um stock i think it's kind of because it's yeah it's, it's nice to have the extra space i think for artists but sketch cards have you know have always been two and a half three and a half you know people got a bit used to having a bit of extra room with the written house stuff and now with premiere they can, they can go on for days um but i think yeah i think i think just you know two and a half by three and a half and if you want to what make size it, would you want carl no, I was just wondering. It's because um, obviously, when you see people opening stuff and you've got the oversized sketch cards that they do, it's um, 
it was just a question really as yeah. to whether or not that was you know you, you you had a limited run of those for artists that wanted to do something on um i guess so i mean if if we were going to do if 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 that was going to happen i think i'd probably do it the written house size which is what five by seven i think uh, by yeah. seven yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. quite a nice yeah. size I don't think it, once you get into the realms of doing anything hingy that gets a bit pricey if you're doing them oh <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no yeah, yeah. Don't oh, do what you could, what you could do. I'll, I'm going to do a shameless mental con plug uh, for Mental Con 24, and Michael, if Which you look at your Instagram, it is summer solstice, June, possibly 21st to the 23rd. I'm not sure exactly on the date. Basically, summer solstice weekend, Glastonbury weekend, which is easy for us English people to remember. So it might be 21st to the 24th of June. I'm really not sure. And we've got some wonderful artists. I think we've got 30 artists now, which a list we will... In fact, I'll put a post on the, the MCCW later mm. on to say me rhyming to who the artists are. And so we've got, for the artists, we've got 5 by 7 card stock. We've got normal sketch card stock. And then we've also got 3 panel and 4 panel. But none of them are going to have the indentations in between. So it's going to be perfectly flat. Gotcha. Michael's looking at me as though he's no idea what I'm talking about. No, you I'm, your, I, you I never got back Instagram, to Nate. Have you? I never got back to Nate. I was like, oh, yeah, I got to let Nate know what I want. Was that a sudden look did. of panic on your face? Yeah, <laughs> I may not be on it. He may be out. He'd be like, I'm sorry, we don't have any stock left. In case you ask him a question, I can see Michael. Oh, no, shit. He's going to ask me a question. <laughs> no, I was like, Right after this, I got to send a message to Nate, who's somewhere in the West Coast driving his truck. Hope there's some stock well, we, left. We I, I, think that, the, I was just going to say, I think the reason why I mentioned it was because I, I've got a few sketch cards, but not many, and I don't really know what to, to do with them. And I, I quite like having things on the wall. And I noticed that Keith's got a half a dozen or so things behind him that look five by seven. So I think for me, the, the having the five by seven sketch card that you can put on the wall just works for, for my collecting okay. style. I, um, like I've got two or three sketches on my desk, and the, of the of the little ones, there's the the one that I won from Ian um, a little while ago, uh, about a year ago, and it's, it was just the personal thing, really, being able to put stuff on the wall. I mean, you can so, put the smaller ones on the wall. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. think he's right, though. I, I struggle with that because I have so much stuff and I have so much small yeah. stuff and it ends up cased away. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, I just haven't found the the display setting that I want it to work with. So for now, if it's big, it goes up. If it's small, it's on the side for now. And the sketches? Yeah. <laughs> See, the thing is, I like those glasses, Keith. I'm going to change the subject straight away. The thing is, with those glasses, we can't tell if Keith's fallen asleep or not. <laughs> because he was very still for about the last 10 minutes before Carl started engaging him. And I was like, um, I was like is he falling asleep? He, was, he, was, he hadn't moved at all. <laughs> so I get, there he goes. So I have to get going. But before we go, I want to show you a little, I'll give you a little story. So I have this five by seven Wolverine sketch. Ooh. That's cool. This Ooh, is bronze, cool. bronze Age Artist Proof Stock. So it's from Joseph O'Brien. Um, nice. So I play Magic the Gathering have since 1995. Um, and I go to this local store uh, and I met this guy, Joseph O'Brien. Um, no, no idea. This is probably six or seven years ago I met him. Uh, and played Magic with him for five, five years. Um, and then, you know, at one point we started talking about collecting things and i told him oh, i'll collect marvel cards like, oh yeah and it was like he was like i used to do uh sketch cards for rittenhouse and i said what <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah he he did this for me as a he has a couple artist proofs left That's awesome. um but i love this size it's my it's really i think the ideal size for an artist Perfect. to really get detailed mm. um you know without losing anything like it, when you start getting down to the Two and a half by three and a half. I mean, you you can obviously get really detailed sketches. It depends on how much time you take with it, but um, this I I feel like is just the best size. Um, I agree. I think it's the best happy medium size. Yeah. So anyway, I have to get going, guys. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, I said for thank you, you do, Ian. Appreciate um, it, and I'll uh, catch you guys later.
Thank you, Sid. See you later. Yeah. Have a great day. See ya. Bye. You too. See you, Sid. See you, man. So now, now there were nine. You're right there, Wesley. Are you on your phone as well? What yeah. are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> he's supposed to be like, working. Because <laughs> yeah. of the angle that he's at. He was looking down like this. I was like, what's he doing? <laughs> I'm trying to multitask. I was trying to use my iPad so I could get a better better screen because I can only see one person at a time right now. So, oh, But yeah, I can't okay. get my iPad to work either. So yeah, I'm just... All right, fair enough. I'm just fair screw enough. up. Fair Pete, whereabouts Injustice. in the country are you? Remind me. Me? I'm in uh, uh, Columbus, Ohio. No, not, not, your name's not Pete, though, is it? <laughs> yes, Peter. Peter. <laughs> I thought you said it. My bad. I'll shut up. I'm out in Colorado. Okay. Oh, so... I love it. I'm so glad Wesley could join. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm out in Colorado, uh, just north of Denver, about an hour. Um. Yeah, I just was at uh, Keith's comic shop the other day checking things out again. Oh, there that's right. You're Thornton. near to Keith Boyles. That's right. Mm. Yeah. Have you met Isador before? I have not met Isador. We've talked on uh, Insta because he was actually, actually, no. Okay. So I didn't know I met Izzy one. So I was mm. at the Denver uh, Fan Expo, I think it was two years ago, selling wallets. And uh, him and a friend came up and asked if I had any Black Widow wallets. And I was like, I don't know. So I'm like searching through all my cards, trying to see if I had any Black Widow ones done, and I didn't. Um, and then just recently, I posted something. I can't remember if it was on Marvel Card Collectors or uh, Hobby Hangouts or something with some wallets or something that I did. And he messaged me. He goes, "I met you at at the convention. I was asking for a for a Black Widow wallet." I was like, "Oh crap!" So it was just you know one of those things where you're like. You meet someone you don't even know until years later. So that that's was pretty cool. I, I did meet him once. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. So, but I do need to make him a wallet. So maybe I'll see him at the uh, this year's fan expo. So that would be and good. A um, couple people from the site, Mark Jr., uh, he's been at fan expo. And then I met Keith at his store. So yeah. Gradually connecting with people. What are you. Yeah. Um... Uh, Mike, you mentioned it earlier on, and we've not talked about it on 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 the podcast yet. But you mentioned about tops and their um, sketch cards. So for those who don't know, <laughs> what's happened with tops and sketch cards? So they specifically, this is to the Star Wars branding of tops. So you know, I understand there are other lines, but specifically with Star Wars. Um, Lucasfilm, Disney, whoever you want to point the finger at, maybe it was Fanatics, no one really knows. Um, they decided that they were no longer going to offer APs to the artists that work on the sketch card sets. Um, so that basically you are getting paid just to create cards for the packs. Um, and that was it. And then the uh, pay scale that they came out with for those really wasn't all that enticing so many of us tapped out and said that's it we're done um which is unfortunate because i really enjoyed doing that um and but you know the ap's are where it's at for us um so for now there's a bunch of us that are no longer star wars artists i shouldn't say that tops artists working on the star wars ip did they give a reason why is it for more of a control over how the ip is being the used reason was never given it was just that this edict came from above you know this wasn't our decision um whether that was disney or lucas hard to say um you know because we don't know so you know you can only uh draw your own conclusions from that um and then you know our community being what it is everybody runs rampant with the fact that there were too many blanks uh on the market to buy uh that there was too many people drawing on it that shouldn't be drawing on it and or drawing subject matter uh on those that they shouldn't have been drawing that subject that's matter. yeah that's what i was alluding to mm, okay that's interesting isn't it yeah i mean i guess when you start drawing princess leha and you're not a tops artist then yeah you know and then, you know, tops was just like upper deck with their do not draw you know these are the things you yeah. cannot draw you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. which was easy enough to stick to. So it's an unfortunate thing. Um, 
you know, I know some uh, people that were on Star Wars stayed on it and they're uh, working on the next group of cards that came out. But for the most part, the people that I know, um, but yeah, we're no longer doing it. Yeah, especially if you don't get the APs, because that's where you get a lot of yeah. your yeah. Right. potential, isn't it? You know, offsets the low cost per card. So, hmm, okay. Well, um, I, I wonder if that's something to just keep an eye on. I mean, if we could see that with Upper Deck. I mean, we've seen a lot and had a lot of conversation about what's going on with that stuff. If they take a cue from that. Well, you know, everyone if... has said that, oh. and I can't. They have not done that, I guess, is the best way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, you know, there's some things that I will be working on in the summer, and those still have APs attached to them. Good to know. Exciting. Exciting. Oh, I love I love it when Mike teases us with what's going to. Well, be I on. don't know what to, I probably shouldn't say. No, anything. you can't say anything. <laughs> I know. Well, I, you can tell I'm us you're of, working on stuff. Obviously, I'm actually out of work right us. now. There's nothing going on, and oh, I'm just okay. doing my own thing in commissions. So there, oh, we'll just leave it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, if you had some podcast doc, you could be doing stuff with. There you go. So, um, I I have okay. to say, uh, can I can can so everyone raise their hands if they haven't bought a Chris Foreman sketch off mccw in the last month because it seems I mean, okay I mean. that's slightly more people than i thought it was going to be uh these things never work um because so. yeah you might have heard we had a bit of a we had a bit of a um a chris foreman loving a few weeks back um not that i intend to repeat it this episode because of the fact that his his head will probably explode and go through the roof but he does something quite cool uh mike i'm sure you see on the group where he's he just does warm-up sketches and just puts them up like yeah, and then just puts claim up, and then and they, they within ten go. minutes they're claimed. Yeah, like yeah. Um, but Wesley managed to get one the other day, uh, which was which was fortunate. So uh, I thought his yeah. crossover with the Lego Marvel characters was clever. I think he yes. should do more with that. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was original and super popular crossover just idea. So yeah. I think he should do more with that as well. I, I have to say, I've, I've I think I said it a few episodes back. Um, pretty sure it's an episode that's dropped. I really want them to do Marvel Lego Star Wars. Uh, Marvel, sorry, Marvel Lego Star Wars. What? There's a mashup. Um, that's a good one. But you know, given that Lego crosses all those streams, you know, you've got Lego Harry Potter, you've got Lego Marvel, you've got Lego Star Wars, you've got Lego everything. Basically, it seems to be the one thing. It's like they've done Funko Marvel cards. Well, why not do Lego Marvel? cards i mean I'd, I'd star, be, be star wars set. isn't there there is What's lego that? star wars yeah there's lego, there's LEGO everything. star wars yeah. Ca cards yeah no i've not seen lego marvel cards no not enough no. characters probably no but no, no what i'm saying is they do the lego marvel exists lego star wars exists yeah, uh yeah. oh yes in the uk there have been lego star wars cards yes Car cards, yeah hey, panini yeah. did them yeah 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 they did yeah was there not lego marvel i can't remember no no there, might no, be. there haven't was been there no um, but that's what I'm thinking. That'd be the, that'd be the kind of thing that Upper Deck could have quite a lot of fun with. I mean, you think about the, the stuff they did with What If, and the oh, stuff yeah. they did with um, uh, the Funko set. You know, seems to be quite a fun little sandpit they could play in. Well, and I think that would be a good one to to get kids back into cards. Yeah, get those in the blasters. I mean, yeah. those would be a huge thing. Uh, yeah. Just to have fun with again. Yeah. 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 No, that would be fun. Um, but while we're on the while we're on the concept of um uh, uh, of the what ifs of the card world, not what if notwithstanding, what's everyone kind of you know if if Upper Deck could bring out a set this year that was was um I absolutely like yes why didn't they think of that before or something you'd like to see and everyone's kind of looking up now thinking about it so I've I've kind of given you one and there's another one that we talked about on on the episode that dropped on thursday which i i genuinely think if they did kind of an artist portfolio set where they did a set that was just like todd mcfarlane's work or ron lim's work you know it can be from the books doesn't have to be you know original art but you think about how much artwork there is from some of these artists mm -hmm. you know? sorry i was just get... looking at i was just looking at lego marvel trading cards that don't exist <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks for that, Jake. <laughs> I, I thought I'd seen some. I thought, I'm shit. I'm sure I've seen some somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. That's all right. I Carl, I think you're about to say something. Yeah, that is a great idea. Do they get access to all of the artwork from all of the books, though? Uh, I think they've got ad- they've got access to a pool that is, is I believe, provided and is that, for them. I only ask because I you think. see so much artwork repeated in the trading cards, especially with like Marvel Metal kind of stuff. It just made me wonder whether or not they actually struggle to actually access. I mean, I know we talk on the groups that they they have access to all of this stuff. Yeah, I don't think they have access to all. Of it. That, That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah do, I think, do they? You know, I mean, I, you. Go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say, for me, I just like it to be a little bit more consistency in mm. some of the the actual artwork choices, like Fleer Ultra. I know we've got issues with Fleer Ultra and its and its kind of actual the stripes and stuff, but a lot of the art has got a real f- flavour to it, and then one or two artists, it's a completely different style and. I, I, for me, it'd be a style thing, really. That the, the sets have, you know, the, the base cards have a style to them rather than being, you know. And I think that would work amazingly to have an artist-led set um, from the the artwork that they could choose yeah. from. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, when we spoke to. TJ at Upper Deck, he was saying that throwbacks, they they made a concerted effort. And actually, when you look at throwbacks, a lot of the artwork on there, apart from maybe some of the Venom pieces, because it's Todd McFarlane's Venom, so there's some you know pretty iconic shots there. You know, a lot of the stuff on there I hadn't seen on cards before. You know, I think that's why oh. throwbacks was was quite a you know, I mean, you had that Walt Simonson Beast cover, Jason, that you've been so into, and then you know John Byrne She Hulk. I mean, I don't remember yeah. seeing any of that used on anything recently that upper deck have done yeah um, yeah and there was even some i mean some of the spider-man they used you have like you know the base card of him you know kind of crouched down taking pictures we haven't really no. seen something like that on cards before um mm. but i do think that um just our conversations with tj i think they're making a little bit more of a concerted effort to not repeat art um you know Kind of, you know, look for some, you know, newer, newer images that they can use. Mm. Mm. That said, I saw the base card art for, and it's not original art. This one for Black Cat from Platinum um, last night, as we record, and it's been used on cards before. Yeah. Oof. So, so I'm like a bit like, mm. I mean, it's not, it's not, not, the, not the worst image, but it's been used on cards at least twice before, maybe three times. It's from Amazing Spider-Man 194. Um, at least it's not the cover image from Amazing Spider-Man 194. Because right. if I see another card with that on anytime soon, I think I'm probably going to smash my computer up. Um, <laughs> while you're, why the rest of you are thinking about your um, your ideal sets that could come out from Upper Deck, should we do another giveaway? The wheel. Give us the wheel, Ian. I love. The well, wheel. I've got the wheel there. Keith, yeah. you want to do one of your things? We can do one of mine. Yeah, so um, so while Keith's selecting the prize, let me share my screen. Now, if I've got this wrong and your name isn't on this screen, you have to tell me. Right, so Andy's there. Mike's there. Jake's Let's there. Let's do the Wolverine. Pete Sid, Sid has gone. Right, hang on a minute. Sid has gone, but we have... Hang on a minute. Is that everyone? Guess no, it what? says you have We're nine done. people here. You got Keith. Yeah, I know. You got Wesley, Dad, myself, Jason, and Keith. Yeah, that's take the me thing. out. I'm doing yeah. the give. Horse. Yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah, we've yeah. left the hosts off. That's why we've only got the guests. Mm. You see, so there's there's four what about hosts Wesley and five guests. Uh, Wesley's a host. Host. Yeah. So yeah, You're not just, taught this, do at all. There's too many rules. This is too many. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, listen, Keith, I could put you on there, just... but you'd win your own card. Exactly. So you know, that's why. I mean, I'm, I'm more than willing to put the other hosts on. If the other hosts wish to be on this giveaway, they can be. Jason. No, let's uh, let's Wesley? Our, our guests have fun. Yeah, yeah. that's that's yeah. the idea. Put, put me Carl co-worker on the list. 
Well, yeah. <laughs> Wesley made a noise there, but I didn't hear what it was. What was that, Wesley? No, no let's leave everybody else on. Okay, fair enough. Right, I'm going to click the button. So, Keith, what's this to win? Right, we're going to show that in a moment. All right, Keith, on a is that screen. Gordon's? This is Tim Fagley. Oh, welcome. Right. Okay. We'll show you that in a moment. I'm going to click the button. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? This is brilliant audio, isn't it? Lovely. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! It's Carl. Oh! Oh! Hey. Oh! <laughs> so, Carl, you have won. Uh, hang on a second. Let me click stop share. I did click stop share. There we go. Right. Hang on a minute. I'm going to make you big. Keith. There we are. Oh, nice. You've got that Wolverine sketch. That's awesome. Thank you. That's sweet. DM me and I'll get everything over to you. Marvelous. Look at that. Look at that. Can See? I... Happy days. This is worth getting up early for. Well, you're in the UK. <laughs> hang on. Both of the UK <laughs> people not. have won now. Yeah, this is, yeah. This is, this, no, this is not good for you Americans. Conspiracy. Conspiracy for Americans. This is this is this is not good at all. I, I, I kind of feel the feel the need to give one more thing away, but just have the Americans on the list. No, you can't do that. That's racist. I did it's tough. <laughs> well, racist. racist is the word. I did bring my card too if we wanted to uh give that away. You want to give that you got your She Hulk? Yeah. You got your She Hulk. I tell you what, yeah, and- let's, 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 let's calm down a moment. Let's, let's get some more value. Let's squeeze some more juice out of our guests before, before we give them anything else. Yeah. So uh, has anyone had, had a bit of time? <laughs> got to squeeze that content juice. That sounds wrong. That sounds filthy. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> what was okay. the question? Ian? You're a fine I one forgot. to talk. Set that, yeah, if Upper Deck could release one set this year that ticks all the boxes for you, what kind of set would it be? They've done it for me, Flare Ultra Wolverine, so I'll, I'll keep my mouth shut. Well, it's not out yet. You haven't seen any of the art. Could be a part I don't of the for you know. <laughs> yeah, I said, I said this. Even if it is going to be shit, I'm going to love it. Okay. Because I can message Keith, I can message Ryan about X23, and I, I'm okay. just going to love it no matter what. I'm going to okay. be a sucker for it. All right. Sorry. So you're going to be doing the whole Demi Moore lying on bed with, with instead of dollars, just like cards and just rolling around <laughs> naked. Yeah. So what about what about a Flair Ultra Venom set? Oh, don't give them ideas, but I'm sure they're probably already working on that. I mean, why wouldn't they be a Flair Ultra Venom? Well, uh, yeah, because you've got Spider Man, you've got, yeah, no, got no. Wolverine, okay. you've got Avengers, you know, you, I mean, I, I, I don't and know everyone's been made a symbiote now, so you could easily. Yeah, everyone yeah everybody. Yeah, just use every it, cover they did for that. Gwen yeah. You know what? I would, I would like to see, and I'm not. It's all just had to my head, like an 18 or uh, R-rated set, so we could have some cleavage, and we could have the sketch card artist, <laughs> one per box, draw whatever they want, and we can also have like, remember, uh, oh, what was it in? Was it the bronze bronze age set where they got like the canvas battle scarred cards and like. Spider Man's been ripped to bits and Thor's been ripped to bits, and we can have guns and yeah, just a bit of fun, you know. So, the anti Disney set, basically, yes, yeah. Now, I'm sure we can work on that. Yeah, I'll we'll have go. blasters at Walmart for it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the top shelf, of, the blasters have got to be like six foot high. So, oh, then I can't, reach can't them, buy <laughs> yeah, it's holding you- the cigarettes. Yeah, you can you, we'll can, have you a, can take a little footstool down from your apartment though, can't you? Yes, you'll be fine. You'll we'll be have fine. a lion's yeah. den. <laughs> if you buy a, buy a case of whiskey or vodka, you get a free blaster box as well. That's quite from the well, Walmart. Hang on, no, swap that round. You buy a blaster kiddies, you'll get a free pack of fags. You know, <laughs> <laughs> get some marble lights or filter this camels for the for the young ones. Um, and Pamela Anderson cars. We need more Pamela Anderson in Marvel. So oh soon my goodness me! Well, you can get Axbone back. You can get Axbone back to draw his his, his voluptuous lady cards. Um, I'm waiting you... for Michael now to jump in with his Pamela Anderson story. I'm, on, not, I'm staying away from Pamela Anderson right now, and. <laughs> Just because she and I are having brunch tomorrow at noon, you know, people don't need to worry about that. Everything's on just fine with Pam. Mm, so. She had like a comic, wasn't she? Like Barbarella or something like yeah. that. Barbed yeah. wire. Oh, barbed wire. Yeah. Barbed wire. Barbed wire. And there were cards. Did none of you see the barbed wire movie? Oh yeah. It's great film. I remember the poster. Yeah. It's got a I remember the poster. Most yeah. people are actually All these the young people. I can't <laughs> yeah. Them. I wonder why. It's got a Boba Boba Fett in it, or Django Fett or whatever. 
He no. said great what? flick. So there's nothing was? great about it. Yeah, the no. guy, the I don't guy know what plays, he's talking about. The guy that plays Boba Fett was in Barbed Wire. Oh, to Tamir Morrison. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's been it's been like twenty five years since I saw it, so, and I would think I was probably stoned at the time, which is why I remember it as a great flick. Okay. That's what I, you said, great flick, and I'm like, no, yeah, no, 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 way no. that was a most great movies flick. that came out in the nineties. I was stoned when I saw, so most of them are okay. great flicks from my point of view. <laughs> you know, it um, did have the the first two to three minutes of that movie was probably the greatest beginning of a superhero movie ever. Fight me on that. Wow, okay. I haven't seen it. I'd have to go have back to and watch it. it. That's yep. when she was on the ring swing and getting hosed with water. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, after this episode uh, is broadcast, there'll be a, 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 a little blip in the online rentals for barbed wire, and then it will go back to being flatline. <laughs> and that'll be the that'll be the twelve listeners, <laughs> or however many it will be for that week. Um, good, um, Andy. I'm going to pick on you now for this question. Because you sat there with your video game wall behind you, and your wonderful icons. I love those icons. See, this is this is okay. worth putting your camera on. I can see your apartment. Yeah, so, keeps going. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah, oh, you I told you. I told you. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Um. That just... No, but as far as a set, I would like to see. I mean, I think I was thinking about maybe another all women set would be a hit. I mean, it's been a while. Um, Women of Marvel was a one of my favorites uh, from that era. The Greatest Battles also comes to mind. Not upper deck product, but I love the battle scenes in that and just something a little bit more original and dynamic. Every card is something worth staring at and seeing all the detail between the heroes and villains. So something along those lines could be cool. Um, I'm going to make your day then because I've seen blank sketch card stock, stock out there for Women of Marvel. Yep. Marvel, it's yeah. out there coming yeah. from upper deck. Oh, really? So, yeah, I really they're working on it. That. There's another one as well. Something heroines or something. Have you seen that? Oh, there's okay. a different one. No, I think there's two female cent centric sets coming. Uh, wow, please hold. Uh, Bring those swimsuits back with the have... water droplets on. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the swimsuit cards with the bubbles. What was that cool. all about? That was, yeah, that was cross. Emma. <laughs> Frost, oh. Jake. The way you said that, you were like Emma Frost. Like, oh. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Carl's right, going to be hands. back in five. Yeah. He's going to make a cup of tea. Oh, yeah, <laughs> all right. yeah. Right, be back in a sec. All right, I'll have one. Milk and two, please. Milk and two. Thank you. Um, you know what? I'd like to see. I'd it's like just... to see a return of '95 style. I want three different artists to do a character. Oh, oh yeah, that's and bang cool. through that way. I nice. absolutely love the layout of that set. It's, it just displays so nice in a binder. It's so oh, fun yeah. to flip through and see all the different versions of the same character lined up next to each other in perfect order. They just made it for the binder, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another Or a set maybe that did have um, a lot more nine panel, you know, full size pages from... To make the, oh, puzzle. the old puzzle, yeah, those were yeah. so yeah. cool. Yeah, I was gonna say 94 Amazing Spider Man is probably my all time oh. favorite oh, set, yeah. and I would love to see something like that by, by maybe a couple artists, but a little bit more in that comic book style art. Um, yeah, you know, just to kind of bring it all back together would be would be awesome. One of the best ones that did that was a uh, what was it, X Men Series 2, where when you put it in the nine page, they had like the battle, two card battle, and then they had the Sinister's team on the right side and the nine cards, and it fit just right to where you had all three cards lined up. That nice. one was really cool. I don't think I've ever seen them do something like that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had three arcs. Flew out to Spider Man 2017, where they did the the triples, like Greg Hildebrand. There was a Bianchi one. Oh, yeah, the yeah, uh, legacy. Yeah. They were they yeah, the legacy. They were they were absolutely amazing. I don't think they've done well, actually, no. Marvel 80th did uh, nine, nine cards. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but I don't think there's been anything since then. Keith, sorry, what were you holding up? Uh, matriarchs. That's the other right female. Lid. It's a fle it's a Fleer Ultra Matriarchs, is what. Fleer Ultra least... Matriarchs. Uh, huh. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Doesn't exactly trip off the tongue, does it? No. 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 Matriarchs. Oh, matron. Actually, oh, actually, it does kind of trip. It stutters off the tongue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Could be fun. Could be genius. Was it, was it that thing? This, this is one for the English audience, which is just basically Jake, because Carl's mm-hmm. gone off to make a cup of tea. Do you remember TFI Friday? Yeah. The Chris Evans yeah. show yeah. back in the 90s. Remember he used yeah. to do that thing, genius or goat? Yeah. Do you remember yeah. that? Mm-hmm. So, Fle- mm-hmm. uh, Fleer Ultra Matriarchs, genius or goat? <laughs> That's all I need to do. Yeah. All the way through, every set. Mm-hmm. Tell you what I liked as well, fat lookalikes. <laughs> that was a good one. Somebody 20 stone and come on and say, I'm a fat lookalike or Brad Pitt. And people would actually <laughs> go on the, the live TV show every week, wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah. This was this was this was some this was a very 90s thing in the UK. Yeah, yeah. It's actually quite refreshing to have cultural references that the American guests don't get, because it's normally the other way around, quite frankly. So I kind of feel like I'm getting my own back a little bit. It's taken 200 episodes. Um, I mean, I used to confuse, I used to confuse no in no end with um, stuff that I'd come out with. Um, Yeah. English stuff. So, so yeah. Um, um, Well, when when Carl comes back, I'll do another giveaway. I think uh, uh, not too long ago about um, Marvel uh comics that aren't in the marvel universe like um is there anything like i know they used to have gi joe or the nam or whatever transformers transformers okay so that i mean a a set like that might be kind of cool because i made me think of like who has the rights to do like i know it's off subject but tron right now like disney Disney. yeah disney's all tron disney owns the crap out of that yeah, so and that made me think like I know Star Wars is Disney and Tops does their cards, but Disney also has Marvel and Upper Deck does their cards. So you do you have to have a separate license to do the Tron cards? I I don't uh yeah, it will be done by property, but uh because uh, Tron is an IP. Um I mean to be fair, Tops have had the license since nineteen seventy seven, long before Disney ever got got, got close to um uh, Lucasfilm, so um, so that's more more of a legacy contract, I guess. There is no, there is Tron cards out there, out there, like old Tron cards. Yeah. Did they make a set for that back in the eighties? Yes, they did. Oh. Did they make Don- a set for the new movie? Don- no, I don't think so. I I can't. Remember. Tron Legacy. When was that? Yeah. Was about, what was that? Twenty ten? Did that come out? 20- yeah. That was about right. I've, I've got no. I I know I've seen it, but I've got no recollection of it. I'm one of the five people on Earth that loves that movie. Okay. Yeah, well, it was one of the, <laughs> the 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 soundtrack with a so good. Punk, it was Daft Punk soundtrack, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. The um, the intro song is my ringtone on my phone. Okay, <laughs> it was a good film. So it's where's the key for two of the five I, people on Earth who love that movie? By the sounds of it, that's what I'm just taking from that. <laughs> my mate loves it. My mate loves that film and watches it person. religiously every year. Third person. So that's there we go. three. Right. If you so have a good sound system, it's the perfect movie to like test it out. Yeah. And enjoy it. That's oh, for okay. see, see, people just need to watch it. That's all. I think people just didn't watch it. It got shit marketing. Yeah. It's a really cool film. Really cool. And uh, the the next one they're making is got that. Uh, what's the actor's name? Um, Jared Leto. Yeah, Jared Leto. He's they're There's filming a lot of people in it. Leto's in it. Uh, Cameron Monaghan's in it. Uh, Gillian Anderson's in it. Um, oh, hello. Yeah. There's that a good. Some... There's a good set of cast in that movie. Oh, you need uh, now is no. a decent script, and um... don't be like that, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> what movie has a decent script right now? Nothing. Really, it's um... Tron. It doesn't doesn't matter what the script is with Tron. It's so cool. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's just <laughs> fun to watch. Diner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Oppenheimer, by the way? Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, long. It's, yeah, well, Could have cut yeah, it an hour shorter, I think. Oh, yeah. I really want to see June two. Is it? You've seen June two? It's obviously. amazing. It's amazing. Oh, it's one of the best really films I've seen it. for ages. So good. So good. Really, really want to see it. I'll probably go see Dune today. Yeah, I just want to go and spend three hours in a dark room with strangers. It Wait, goes by over. fast. Yeah. It, <laughs> It yeah, doesn't. It does, really. Yeah. Well, good because the first really. one did not go by fast. It yeah, no. <laughs> the second one is, is much, much better than the first. Right. I'm going to watch the first. the first. Yeah, don't watch the first 1980s one, though, Carl, or else you'll be really pissed off. 
<laughs> nah, there's a lot of world building that happens in the first one that sets this up so you can be yeah, rocking right through it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. right. Peters, Evan Peters, the other person that's going to be in the uh, new movie. Oh, okay. Right. We're going we're gonna to do at least one more. Um, now, um, let's see. Oh, surely got, got, yeah. It's Jake. I'm going to say this, but surely you have to take me and Jake off this now. Well, keep me on. I want to stay on. I like being feeling important and I love the wheel. <laughs> I was going to say, I probably look a bit sad if I take two more people off it. So I'm just going to run it. Yeah. But if it lands on an English person, you have the choice to pass it on. Yeah, I won't be passing. yeah, I'm not passing. No, dude. Okay, no, I Me. didn't think you were. Greedy. No. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Who's it going to be? Not me. Andy! Andy! Hey, there oh, no. we go. There we go. See, Andy, awesome. patience is worth, it was worth hanging on for. Right, so, <laughs> Thanks, and, Andy, Andy, you have the option. Oh, Jesus. Are you going to do it again and, then, and, and put Bill oh, on? Okay. Say that again. Oh. Well, you've got another person turned up. Oh, well, we'll do that in a moment. I've got no idea who's just turned up. Right. Uh, Andy, pick a number. Four. Let's see what you've, what you're about to get. You're about to get. What's this going to be? What's this going to be? Who knows? This I'm this, this delay is computer. brought to you by shitcomputer.com. <laughs> yeah, You've got a graded black cat card. Look at that. There nice. we go. Right. Very cool. Nice. Thank you. So I will get that That's in awesome. the mail to you. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Right. Hang on. Who's just dropped into the... um? Who's just dropped in? Oh, oh now oh, the party legend. started. Another legend. Now the party started. He's here to watch us open. That's just a little clue <laughs> for everyone else. Um, Bill, is it still dark where you are? No? He's 15 minutes from me. He's 15 minutes from me. There he is. There we go. There he is. <laughs> back to life. Back to reality is what there I want to a, sing when I see you. There was an inopportune Zoom update required, so pardon my tardiness. That's quite all right. It often takes me at least an hour to update Zoom in the mornings as well. Um, how you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How are you guys then? Oh, we're, we're doing all right. We're, we're, so we're, I, we're I know out. everybody except Jason. But all, all of you, you know, our, our elbows have rubbed. Um, so hello, everyone. Hello, Ian. Uh, you don't have to catch me up. Um, oh. But, oh, we've talked about loads. I think he's managed to mute himself. Yeah, he oh, did. No, somehow you muted yourself. Muted. Oh, there you no, go. You're right, there we go. Now we can hear yeah, you. What did I you say? Munchie, the Munch Man. Yes, sir. How are you? All right. Good to see you. Good. Good to see you. Magnificent Munshaw, as we called him on yeah. it. Michael has, has narrowly managed to avoid winning one of his own sketch cards a number of times now. So well done, Mike. <laughs> 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 Next giveaway we do will probably be Keith. Um, right. Um, Bill, what can you tell us? What Tell us something new and exciting. I, 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 I can tell you, you know, in, in 90 seconds without making it all about me that this is a wonderful thing, 200 episodes. I know that wasn't your question. I know you were trying to make, you know, ask me about my life and you know, you don't want anybody to be like, hey, Ian, you're great because God forbid anybody tells you the obvious that, uh, that, that not too long ago, you know, some of us didn't even know each other at all. Um, Bless you. Thank you. Have you finished? No, I haven't finished. Okay. Some, some, some of us have watched the fellowship grow around us. Some of us have watched loneliness disappear. Um, our whole attitudes and outlooks how life on life have changed just because we've met certain people. And right. you are you are an important person in, 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 in the happening of all of us meeting those people. So I agree. Whether or oh, yeah, not no, this is why you want yeah. to do it, this is what today is about. That's what we're celebrating. So guess what? Everybody look at Ian and smile and say thank you. Thank you, Ian. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, Ian. Bless you, Billy. Thank you very much. I'm I'm not going to say anything else right now because I I will probably start crying. Yeah, <laughs> but no, it's all that's it's all true. You know, I've never Back met your goddamn, any, you know, any of these show. guys before that. And because of your <laughs> podcast and creating this community, we've met all these people. So no, that's Thank all you. on you, bud. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Ah, <sighs> two hundred episodes, Billy. Before before um before you were on, we were asking 
people what if they had a highlight from the 200 episodes or and or their their kind of first episode in fact i, did, I don't think i asked you about highlights i think i asked you what your first episodes were but anyway first episode Billy. first episode yeah. yeah i did didn't i yeah so uh so I have, I have two favorites first one and i can't remember his name so it's gonna be like how good could it be but it, it, it's also like you know you'll get it the guy from the 90s who was building sets and he was talking about doing things by nine and oh um ken baroff who, who that, worked the, at impulse you Bus. have no idea how like that just scratched this 20 year old like oh my god it's not just me oh my god it's not just me yeah um, so that was like a really cool, event. and then my first one with you guys, because really if I felt like I was being two celebrities and, and that was, it was an honor, you know, and, and I still, you know, it's humbling and, 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 uh, surreal that I, you know, I get to talk to all you fine people. Oh, bless you. I remember on one of your watch me open, um, sorry, not watch me open on one of your, um, trivia shows, Marvel on the brain. There we go. Yeah. I, uh, I didn't have Marvel on the brain on the brain just then clearly. Um, you actually, <laughs> <laughs> when I was on it with Tony Perner, James Edel, Edel, yep, and who else was on it? That was it. We were only doing it was three. It was three. That's right. There we go. There are four, but of course the fourth one was you. Um, you used the old intro, the very verbose intro I did for over a hundred episodes of this shit. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that and it was hilarious. And I was, uh, it took me. And I think I have a feeling that was the one that we recorded quite late at night, and I was a little bit drunk. So it took me a few moments to actually get that you what you were doing. <laughs> I, I said, like you know, your weekly digest of Marvel yeah, trivia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, didn't get it. That was <laughs> just went woof. Yeah, it just went. Oh, yeah. Jake, yeah. Well, who does that, Jake? Who does that? <laughs> How's it going, sunshine? How hey. are you, Billy? Anyway, we miss you. We yeah. miss your face and your fun. You doing yeah, I good? Don't, yeah? I don't miss that face. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, look, you know, we're all friends. We're all honest. Look, that face. Listen, it's the second time that he's smiled, thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a smile? Jeez, I'm surprised your camera's still east, working. He's east from yeah. the north. That's as close as you get. <laughs> yeah. Understand. Uh, it's just hundreds of years of physical violence to you know to, to the faces in that family. That that's how you get where you're at. <laughs> They're a scrappy bunch. They're a scrappy bunch to make medicine. No Northerners in general are quite a scrappy bunch. Yeah. He says massively yeah. over over simplifying cultural. You know, it, it, it's funny. Yeah, I, I always think good. about it. Um whenever you say northerners because i'm a doctor who fan and there was one time where where you know the, the new actor was a northerner and uh you know he's so he's trying to say that he's an alien she's like well why do you sound like you're from the north and he's like oh, plants have a north yeah. <laughs> uh, probably christopher eccleston i would have thought um no uh is in uh um capaldi well no he's scottish and so, well, yes. Yeah. So, so, I mean, isn't, well, that, the, the, okay. isn't that the northern? Well, yeah, no, well, we, we kind of call it Scotland because that's where it is. <laughs> yeah. Whereas the north is just the north of England. But yeah, yeah. We, we just don't get over excited doing that. North is north. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard you get over excited, Jake. <laughs> yeah, not generally, no. Yeah. no I'm 51. <laughs> You've come close to it. Years old. Yeah, his days of excitement are over. Yeah, yeah, I can. I, I, I feel 51 that. Fifty-one years. You've done a lot, haven't you? In fifty-one years, so it's got to be something spectacular, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, Mike will be fifty next year. You'll be able to tell us all about it, Mike. Yeah. What was that? I couldn't hear. You. <laughs> I said you'll be fifty next year. You can tell us all about <laughs> it. I wish I was going to be fifty next year. We don't want to talk about this coming. <laughs> we won't. Yeah, we won't. We won't. We won't go yeah. there. We won't go there. Um, on to the next two hundred. On to the next two hundred. Now, what do you want to? So this is that we'll kind of we'll kind of circle into land, I think. And I wanted to ask because I I always say in every single episode, kind of show notes, I always say this is a podcast for collectors, and you know I want anyone who listens to this to say, oh, do you want to do an episode on yeah, or you know come up with ideas? So is there stuff that you or sets even old or new? that you want us to talk about or topics that you want us to talk about that you think, well, I, maybe you'd like our take on it or you haven't heard us talk about enough or just, you know, shit that you'd, or people that you'd like us to interview as well. 
So that's just an open question, and even existing hosts can can tackle this one because you know we're all in it together, lads. I'd I'd like you to get Izzy on and if he could show you some of his collection and tell you the stories and some of the artists who he worked with. I think that that would be so cool because. Yeah. yeah, he's got such a collection. That'd yes. be great. Yeah, so you're he's talking the about... Ignatius. Yeah, be careful when you're asking Izzy to play show and tell. You might need a wide lens to catch it all. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, we um, uh, you're talking about Isidore Chavez, is that his surname? Yeah. Who's yeah. a Black Widow collector? For those who don't know, so and a white Mexican. Why you know? It's it's true. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. I've got a feeling I've just missed something there. I've got no idea what's going on. You said Black Widow, and then my brain. So I just, I was like, let me follow it up. Hey, the white mix, Black Widow collector, white, you know, the whole black waist thing. <laughs> we're over it. It's over. <laughs> we moved past it. Moving all of us, on. All, all, all Moving a billion. On. We're, we're over it now. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, anyone? <laughs> anyone else? Right. Put that on the list. Wesley, you're at work. You have ability to make lists. So make a list. <laughs> Right, write all this shit down just in case the recording doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Have you guys done a lot on, on specifically promos, like 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 uh, comic promos, you know, toy promos? I know you've done a little bit here and there, but there's I, 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 every day I still see something that like, oh, I didn't know that existed. Yeah, yeah, there's no, I want these, to. There's all these dark avenues where promos yeah. come from. Yeah, yeah, no, they want to. There was an episode. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, there was an episode on promos for comics right so uh so i i I had planned to do more but it it didn't happen uh so basically you've got a number of different types of promos you've got promos obviously for sets uh you've got um versions of cards that end up in other products like toy biz you know for example there's a prime example of that and then you've got promos card promos that came out but that were promoting comics they weren't promoting sets um and that yeah so, so we've done the latter one of those uh and boy that was a fun journey but now now in the wonderful age of youtubeness that could be quite a good episode to be able to show some promos, are, yeah. promos are great as well aren't promos you, know, are cool. yeah, yeah. you work it out properly you've done it before and i've been about the weeklies and stuff like that you have touched yeah. on them haven't you oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that was the promos for the comics so yeah mm. um but some of the set promos there's some and especially some of those uncut ones from the 90s they are gorgeous. Mm. They are really mm. nice um, and really affordable as well. And very collectible. Here's a question for you. Does, for those who know grading, do PSA or anyone else grade those uncut promo sheets? In the they, have a, they, have a, they have a form for oversized. Yeah, I think BGS would be the one. Um, I think I've seen Michael Spina post a okay. few of those right. in big BGS labs. Okay, cool. All right. I'll keep an eyes open for that. Um, what about you, Andy? I don't know what I would like to see. Um, maybe, I mean, you've done so many of the big artist names. I'm trying to think of just some of the classics. I always like hearing from the guys who have been in it the longest. Um, I mean, I, I, granted, I haven't listened to all 200 episodes, but, I've uh what? You know. right remove him from the- <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, I've the only lead. listened to maybe 150 of them um oh, but uh I don't know um just some of the old artists or maybe even some of the new guys I don't know just I I like who I like so I would yeah, throw yeah. out some names but yeah um yeah I mean Ariel Olivetti um or Tom Fleming, from an old standpoint, you probably have had him on, I imagine. Tom's, Tom's been on. Tom's going to come on again soon, actually. Yeah. Oh, wow. I really like the episodes that are the, like, kind of big set collectors of a specific set. Like, I love the 2019 Flair episode with the three Marcus, Ben, yeah. Dennis, mm-hmm. like, those guys talking about it, because those are super passionate guys um, on a very specific set. So, yeah, any of those kind of collectors, I like to see the round table and how they work together yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to help make it happen because they're all kind of master set building. So yeah. those kinds of episodes are intriguing for me and fun to listen to. I tell you, I tell you who's on my list in terms of artists. We mentioned him when we were talking about platinum on the platinum episode that you will yet to hear. Um, Dave Dorman, I'd love oh, yeah. to get him on. That'll yeah. be a cool one. Um, I really yeah. want to get him on. Um, I really want Ray Largo to come on. Um, because I think he'd be great to speak to. 
um, and Tom Fleming is going to come back soon because um, he, nice. he is, as was announced um, in the last 24 hours, uh, going to be wrecked by Eugene Hugh. Um, mm-hmm. Rare Echo mm-hmm. Tools. So um, he's going to be uh, representing Tom Fleming going forward. So so that'll be fun. Um, and in terms of sets, I really would like um, Jonathan Dunn to come on and talk about Flea Ultra Spider-Man. Because yeah. he is yeah. Mr. Fussum. Uh, we've had Mr. Fuxum. Um, that was a good episode. That was one that of my favorites, crazy. too. That was easily yeah. one of my favorites. Being episodes. a collector, I didn't mm-hmm. quite comprehend when people would talk about that guy. But then when Ian and Norn had him on that episode, Oof. I was just like, that is just mind boggling. Yeah. Yeah. That's the yeah. other thing. He was like an urban legend, Mike, until he was on the podcast. Yeah. 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 So, and, and, and he, he, he came on and just validated all these stories that yeah. we all heard. And we're like, yeah. there's no way that's yeah. real. No one builds a walk in vault and then goes, a concrete, oh, yeah, the a concrete bunker. <laughs> no one yeah. has four buyback sets. <laughs> yeah. He can, I mean, the, the guy, he, uh, he worked <laughs> super hard for his money. And boy, has he spent it on, yeah. on cards. But it's just oh, yeah. that set. Just that set. So, yeah, crazy, crazy time. Talk about I can't, a cool I can't memory remember, that guy but... has around cards. You know, Oof. to he held on to that memory and just built something yeah. amazing um, yeah. off of it Absolutely. with his collection. But did did he indicate if fate would would bring us another Flare Ultra X Men set that he'd dabble again? I can't remember. I don't hmm. think so. Because you know, in the back of Maybe our minds, like yeah. we've we've all got to remember, if it's exactly Flea Ultra X Men, there's still a chance he might come out, and you know, we should all be prepared for that. I mean, not we, <laughs> but you know, anybody who's trying to get into it should be prepared because you weren't around. I mean, mo- a lot of people weren't around the last time when they had to compete with him. It was open season for him. He'd well, probably have to be a lot more aggressive and quicker if he wanted to spend that kind of money. Well, I have a feeling that the next time they do it, Upper Deck will simply, rather than ship half of it off to go on EPAC, they'll just shop a bit off, it off him. Yeah, to his Just house. send it right to his he'll house. Just, he'll just drive a truckload of money up to the Upper Deck gates and just say, oh, lads. <laughs> now, um, I know, I don't know if this is for episode worthy or not, or if you guys have covered it already. We're headed towards perhaps sketch card artists being able to get their cards graded and slabbed. We can now, but there's gonna there may be other avenues for us to do that. And I know when it it comes to like my sketch covers, a lot of people prefer for me to get my sketch covers CGC certified now and have that um, as an addition to the you know the sketch cover they're getting from me. So, like, if they come out with that for sketch cards, is that something that the community would be interested in at all? So, I don't know if that takes up a whole episode or not. Oh, it's definitely a good one to talk about. <clears throat> I hadn't heard that that was going to be a, a, a like a thing, as it were, for the artist to actually, like, you mean do a PSC or, a, or an AP and then have it graded and sell it yeah. as a graded thing? Yeah. Would you grade it or, or just authenticate? Probably just authenticate. Um, but I don't know about the details of that. Yeah. Okay. But it would be slabbed. Yeah. Okay. That- <laughs> That's interesting. I got well, we've think got on that. We've got hopefully we've got um, PSA coming on soon. Oh. Someone from PSA. So okay. that could be a good conversation to have with them. Get their take on it. Keith, are your glasses still flashing? It's still going. Still going. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I gotta spend all day with this guy. God help me. <laughs> really? Is that your Saturday? Uh, it's a uh, St. Patrick's Day parade in, in town. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Well, it's a good job we're not doing this on Sunday because Keith wouldn't be vertical. <laughs> All right. I was you say, won't find I can't, me on Sunday. I can't, I can't look at Keith um, t- for too long at any one stretch today because I'm going to have a fit. Story of, of my life. Glasses. Story of my life. <laughs> I, I'm most shocked. Women I didn't. Too. Most, Ian, most women too. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> can we just say, can we just say, because I said it before we started recording, I'm going to say it again, the award winning Keith Spironi. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah. Have you actually got the award with you? Like, within uh, arms reach? You no, people? not in arms reach. It's in, no. uh, it's in the other room. No, it's in the other room. Just in case someone breaks in, you can bash them over the head with it. It's, it's heavy, you know, man. It's like yeah. three times the weight of a water bottle. You don't think we can <laughs> filibuster for 40 seconds? 
Yeah, get the award. There we go. go. There we go. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll sit here in silence for 40 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you wait till you see this thing. It's impressive. And his award. Um, what? <laughs> why? Why? Why are you waiting, for Billy? Oh my goodness me! Um, it's always a fun time when Billy's on the show, folks. Uh, what about you, uh, Pete? What would you? Oh, hang on, no, he's back, Pete. I'm going to talk Hello. to you. So, yeah, we'll wait. Let's, let's see, see this thing. Let's see this. Let's see this thing. Here he comes. <clears throat> That's a very impressive looking award. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> remind remind us what you won that for. <laughs> Billy. Oh my god. Uh highest customer count in my division. So I service over 94 accounts. Yeah, and... you service over 94. <laughs> <laughs> and the next closest person is at 72. <laughs> what does one have to do to be serviced by Keith? <laughs> Pick Billy off. <laughs> he wants to say something so bad. <laughs> Billy, Billy, so Billy, he's trying so hard. Has anyone ever been on a podcast with Billy before, apart from Keith? It's no. an experience. It's an experience. <laughs> now you have. Now you have. You can go and tell your family. You go and tell your grandkids. Those who've got grandkids, uh, which I think is only three people on this call have got grandkids. That's quite a lot, actually. Um, to know, Pete. You know, um. I don't know. The only set that's coming into my mind, which would be amazing if you could interview him, would be Jim Lee. Just to oh. really go to town. Never happened, but come on. You can't deny going you into town and learning about... Don't say never happened. happened. Yeah. Would be an amazing interview. And just, yeah. Yeah. I think I think, um, I think think Wesley would probably call in sick for that one. <laughs> wouldn't you, Wesley? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's not... Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen. It, it, like I said, if you don't ask, you don't get. Um, yeah. It took three years of asking yeah. Joe Jusco <laughs> until he finally yeah. um, was able to come on. So you know, you've got to do it, haven't you? Right, Carl. What have we done? Anything you? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> what, what, have like, you what? Done? what have you done? You tell huh? us. The car's like, what? Where am I? It was just very random that you just you, you just. What did you put? In, what, did you, for, what did you put well, in your tea? Have you taken well, an edible? Or something, like right? going. It was a good yeah. tea, man. It was a good yeah, tea. no, it, it did look like a good cup of tea. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. How can you tell if a cup of tea is good just by looking at the side of the mug? Um, no, it didn't last long. It did like last long. Straight down the hatch. You're going to need a wee soon. Well, it's all right. We're going to let you go in a minute. Um, anything, anything that you would like us to talk about more on the podcast, or any ideas for shows that you've got? If you haven't got an answer straight away, I can go and ask. I can go and ask someone else and come back to you. Go on, come back to me. All right. Who haven't I? Hang on, I think we've spoken to everyone. I mean, uh, I'm going to ask Jason because I haven't heard Jason's voice for a long time. What do uh, What do I want us what, to talk? What about? do you want to talk? Yeah, what do you? <laughs> it, right, if you could interview anyone for the podcast, Jason, because because you you're on the crew now. Right. Well, um, well, same questions coming for you, Keith. By the way, I'm I'm, I'm going to steal Pete's idea, Jim Lee. That would be awesome. Okay, um, so we've got two folks. No, I, and you you oh. mentioned it before. I mean, Mark Bagley would be great to talk to, but I think you reached out to him about that 94 Spider-Man set, and it was yeah. no go. Nope, nope Yeah. Nope. <laughs> he said, I think the response was something akin to, I, I, I don't even remember doing it, so I'm not sure what I'd have to say or <laughs> something like that, <laughs> so, which is fair enough, I guess. You know, he does a lot of, he does a lot of work, and he works very fast. So, yeah. No, it would be nice to speak to Mark Bagley. You know what I want? You know what I really want to talk to is Mark Texera. That'd oh, be cool. That would be that would, be, that would yeah. be a fun uh, that would be a fun episode. And I heard he's a wacko. Yeah, yeah, that I've... crosses the sweet spot of of nineties goodness. And he's done sketch cards as well. And Joe Rubenstein, I'd like to talk to as well. Um, I've met him once, and uh... I'd like Mark a lot because he did a lot of Ghost Rider stuff, and I and I really yeah. like that. Ghost Rider fan. So, so who else, uh, Keith? Sorry if I stole your answer there because I have a feeling. No, you actually, really no, don't. you didn't actually. I, I mean, I'm just going to dip into the friend pool. You know, if you're going to have Izzy on, then I would, I'd always go to Brian Hudson, Marvel Cards Up. Oh, and yeah. I think, yeah. And I think Ian Fisher would be a great ass too because he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. he knows where the bodies are buried. He's been around for a while. Well, will he actually tell us? He'll tell us. He'll tell us. We get good He'll tell us. that week. Yeah, yeah, good. All right. All right. Well, I'm, I'm, um, I'm immensely blessed to know you all and to be able to spend two hours with you. I've really enjoyed this. Um, and I, I 
I honestly couldn't do any of this without your support. And my co-hosts, thank you for coming on. Um, and I'd like to thank the Academy for this award. Um, I'd like to thank my parents, the cinematographer, the guy who made the tea and craft services. Um, um, see, simply because um, we've never had him on the podcast. Um, I'm going to pick on, I'm going to pick on Pete to say, enjoy collecting for episode 200. Um, because quite frankly, you, you always listen and you're very supportive and I really appreciate it. So. All right. Well, everyone enjoy collecting. There we go. 200 episodes. Right. Congratulations. Right. Congratulations. A lot of work. (laughs) That's a lot of work that got to this point. Congratulations. Thanks for listening, folks. If you enjoyed it, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share on YouTube or the podcast platform of your choice. The podcast can be found by Googling at the MCC pod, which is also a handle on Facebook and Instagram. If you have an idea for podcast topics or want to be on the podcast, please reach out via social media or email us at the MCC pod at gmail.com. Our Facebook communities are MCCW, Marvel Card Collectors Worldwide, and MMC, Marvel Masterpieces Collectors. Creative design and logos for the podcast and groups are by artist Michael Munshaw. You can find him on Instagram at artofm2. The great music we use is called Rocket Power by Kevin McLeod. Thanks to the collectors, artists, and creators who support the Marvel Cards Fan Collective. We'll see you next time, and remember, collect your way and always, always be kind to others. Make mine marvel and enjoy collecting.